Neighbors upset tonight about a gator sighting in Sugar Land. Not because of what it might do to them. They're worried about what someone did to it. See for yourself. It appears a knife is sticking out of its head. It's a story you'll see only on two at six o'clock. That gator is in a neighborhood lake. Families say it's been there a while, but it was only recently seen swimming around afflicted in this way. The waterway is called Pumpkin Lake. Neighbors tell us it backs up to Cullinan Park in Sugar Land. That's where our Sophia Beausoleil is live tonight with the growing concern for this gator. Sophia? A neighbor reached out to KPRC and then we spoke with the woman who actually took the picture. She told us that around six o'clock this morning she saw the gator hanging out along these rocks and then she noticed a knife, what appeared to be protruding out of its head, possibly near its eye, and she's really worried about it. I love animals, especially our gators around here. Every morning, Erin Weaver takes a walk around her neighborhood lake. It's no secret, gators also share this space. So when Erin saw one Thursday morning, it was nothing out of the ordinary, but what was protruding out of the gator's head had her concerned. He kind of turned and came right towards me, and he swam right over here by along the rocks here, and he sat there, and it was actually a knife. It looked like a steak knife sticking out of his head. She immediately took a picture and posted it to the Orchard Lakes Estates Neighborhood Facebook group. Turns out someone else spotted the injured gator the night before and also posted to social media. I felt just so bad for them. I can't believe someone would be that cruel to do that to one of our alligators in the community. Other neighbors echo the same sentiment. Horrified that someone would ever do anything like that to an animal. There's no cause for it. Aaron says the gators keep to themselves and doesn't understand why someone would stab one with a knife. I wanted to help him, but, you know, he is a wild animal and, you know, me by myself, I didn't want to do anything. Which is why the community is asking for help. The Fort Bay County game warden is aware of the picture. He comes back to work on Monday and he says that's when he will come out here and look for that gator. Reporting live from Sugarland, Sophia Bosley, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Sophia.